one password tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you about one password and how you can use it so having said that let's just jump into the video now if you don't know what one password is it's basically a password manager tool that helps you you know store all of your passwords of all of their sites websites social media accounts whatever so it's pretty amazing so let's get started now the sign up process is very simple and it is free as well but there is also a pricing plan let me just show you so over here as you can see you have two types of pricing plan the personal and family and the team and business both will have different features and different prices so keep that in mind so for personal and family you will have in the one password over here this is going to be you know for your personal use and one password family is for the family one right so in the personal one you have apps for mac ios windows android linux chrome os everything unlimited passwords items and one gigabyte document storage friendly 24 7 email support 365 day item history to restore deleted passwords travel mode to safely cross borders and two-factor authentication for an extra layer of protection so and you can share your sensitive information security with anyone which is pretty amazing so as you can see there is a free 14 day trial so we're going to be using that so we're going to be using the personal one but before you do that you can see the family's features as well so the all the one password features plus you know from here over here all the features from this uh you know plan is going to be available in this one as well plus you get to share with five family members from any household invite more for one dollar each so basically you can invite five people but if you want to invite more people then for that you will have to pay one dollar each invite up to two five guests for limited sharing share passwords credit cards secure notes and more manage what family members can see and do and recover accounts for locked out of your family members so yeah as you can see it's pretty amazing so we're going to be using this one so we'll just simply go ahead and click on try free for 14 days and then it's going to take us to the sign up page where we just simply have to enter in our name and our email address and get started so i'm going to go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second and then once you've signed up all you got to do is enter in your car details and you are good to go all right then you just simply have to you know save your emergency kit so basically what this is is if you get you know locked out of your account you will need this emergency kit to sign up it's basically like a document so you just simply download it and then you can view this and then you will see all of your sensitive information your password uh you know your login key that they specifically send it to you so that you can use it to enter it in your locked account so it's pretty simple then all that's left for you to do is just simply enjoy now all that's left for you to do is just set up a new wallet so basically this is how the inside of one password looks like this is their dashboard and over here you will see you will have walls and in walls you can store all of your password credit cards and other items so it's pretty simple you can set up one install you know step one is to install the one password everywhere you need your passwords like you can install it onto your phone on your laptop on your computer or whatever and then step two is to secure it and basically yeah then you will have your vault over here like this is a vault this is a personal vault right in this one you will have all of your passwords so you will have all of your watchtowers you will have your logins secure notes and all of that right so it's pretty simple and if you want to you go ahead and you know create a new wall just simply click on create new wall enter in the vault name so i'll basically go ahead and say oh, passwords and then over here i'll basically say that this is a vault and it contains all of my passwords and then just simply create the vault and then over here you will see vault password you can enter in a password for this vault and edit details and add more options as well like if we click over here on more option we can go ahead and delete this vault click on edit we can change the name and you know the description of the wall and if you click on view vault we can see and view the vault so in this mold you will have all of your items over here you can add different credit cards you can add different identities login secure notes and in the watchtower you will see overall password strength and no password you will see compromised websites reused passwords weak password unsecure websites two-factor authentication and can expiring as well and then in all items you will have everything so as you can see it's pretty simple it's really easy you can even download the extension for it as well so you can download their apps 
on your PC, Mac, or phone, tablet, as I said before. And it's pretty simple. Now, if you'll see, your integrations are going to be over here at the right side. If you click on integrations, you can integrate one password with a bunch of different options. So over here, you will see masked emails, virtual cards, you know, with virtual cards, provides access to fill out your cards anywhere with one password online, secret automation. So secure, orchestrate, and manage your infrastructure secrets with one password. So it's pretty simple and it's really easy. So let's go ahead and fill out some of these forms, right? So if we go into passwords and we come into identities, right? Over here, we can keep our identity safe and logins and all of that. So pretty simple. Let's go over here onto personal. And over here, we can see we have all the items. So these are some of the notes. These are passwords and these are identities. So if you click on identities, you will see this is my identity and we have the tag starter kit right and if you want you can go ahead and edit it out so first name you just simply click over here so you can add an identity as well like if you want you can click over here on the plus button at the bottom you click over here and you can see all of the things that you can add so you can add secure notes credit cards identity passwords uh, api credentials bank accounts crypto wallets databases driver license medical records members outdoor license like everything it's pretty amazing so if you wanted to add a new identity just simply click on the plus icon and click on the identity option over here and then you can add in the title right i'll basically say like this is um uh, identity for a certain website like website identity or something like that and then in the first field as you can see we have identification in the first field we'll just say uh you know name so we'll just say john initials can be mr mrs whatever so i'll just say mr and then last name could be you know um bones or whatever and actually initials will be t john t bones yeah and then gender can be male whatever and then birthday could be going back to the 1990s and G august 15th there we go occupation can be maybe like you know a salesman or maybe like a senior uh senior deputy or you know ceo or anything like that basically so we'll just say ceo it will write the name of the company and department will be sales department or whatever you know job title can be job title can be ceo and we can add new fields as well like we add in the label and we add new fields the address the street the city state country and all of that and then down below we have internet details if you want you can go ahead and do that add these details and then just simply you know click on the save button over here at the bottom right corner and then you will see you will have an identity quite like this one as well so as you can see this one was automatically added because of my you know account that i put so yeah so pretty much that's it that's how you do it like it's pretty simple click on the plus icon click on any of the you know in activities or options you want to add like driver license bank accounts if you wanted to add like a bank account just enter in the the title you can even change the logo as well if you of your own choosing you can add like a pin number and iban and all of that and it's pretty simple so yeah as you can see it's pretty amazing and you can use it however on your phone on your computer on your desk on your laptop and even on mac and ios devices as well so pretty much that's it that's how you use one password so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye